One of the choices you also have with the remote support platform is take the results of the tasks that you run and send those across to SAP for analysis. So in order to configure the channel that does that, we need to log into the console. You'll see my SAP connections currently got a red flag against it. So that means something's not quite right. So I go into configuration, choose channels, click on the SAP channel tab, and you can see all I need to do is highlight SAP channel. I put in the, my S user number and my password. I click on test connection. It will go ahead and double check that that is a valid S number with a valid password. And that can connect successfully through to the SAP server. Then I'll hit save. Save those configuration changes. And now if I go back into my overview, you'll now see that all of my connections are completely configured. My email channel, my SAP channel, my database connection, so I can exit out and I'm ready to go.